goodly morning goodly morning and welcome back to another episode of day trip around Fiji Islands and uh, today I am at Matainimbo landing um, a bit out of uh, Nausori town and I'm going to Tomberua Island for a visit day visit um, it's in an island located uh, a little island located I think 30 minutes away with the boat right from the mainland and um, this is where usually um, the guests uh, come to get picked up at look and the uh, pickup is at 9 and um, now it's 10 to 9 and uh, Tomberua Island is a resort you can say it's kind of like a luxury resort it's gonna be the first time I'm gonna go there and um, I've had some uh, cousins and people from the village that has worked there that has told me great stories about that place and I went to booking.com just to look it up and man it looks really really luxurious I think I said it right it looks really really nice so I'm really looking forward to this trip to see how a little island luxury resort looks like there's about eight minutes left until the boat arrives and uh, I am going to find a place I can sit away from the Sun because holy moly <laughs> The sun is too damn hot already and it's not even nine o'clock yet and I'm really happy that weather is good today um, like uh, that day where I went to Malolo Island uh, and did a day trip at um, plantation so uh, yesterday the weather was bad and today it's good wow it's kind of every time I make a day trip the weather becomes good maybe I should do day trips every single day but uh, unfortunately I'm not rich <laughs> Okay, people that's the pick up this fiberglass boat I'm really looking forward to see how um, the trip is gonna be like so let's go <laughs> and off we go to Tomberua Island Resort. Wow, I'm already excited. <laughs> Approaching the ocean, the end of this river. You can see the 
about this as you can see all the island and my home island. What kind of motor we can flip? And I think uh, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but I think Kumbiru is over there. Watani ngo on romu na chika sana. Okay, people. Watani. We just stopped at Wata Watani. Watani village. Watani village. We're gonna pick up a stuff that also works in Tomberu, and then we'll go out and continue our journey towards Tomberu. Look, this village looks absolutely amazing. Look. And uh, on we go, people. Now to Tumber Road, hopefully. Yes. amazing already with uh, all this stuff that has been on the day off and going back to the mainland and now they are returning for work so what a nice way to come out to the island and uh, I must say I'm, I'm speechless whoa <laughs> So people, I think the boat ride takes about half an hour if we didn't make a stop to pick up the other stuff. So um, maybe faster because normally the guests, they get picked up in a bigger boat and a bigger engine look, something like this. So I don't know if it's the same or a little bit faster, but look at this people it's absolutely amazing you have the coral reefs that ends there in the far distance you can see the waves that's, that are crashing it and um, you have the island here and then you have the mainland there not far off the island this island is also close to Suva International Airport so you can come there you know land there arrive there and then you get picked up and then the the, um, the pickup spot is uh, about maybe 10 minutes away from Suva International Airport and from there you're gonna go on this amazing boat ride out to the sea and this long river man absolutely amazing and now we are finally here People, the first thing you see when you arrive to the island is um, this 
the dive shop and marina so they do have a, a dive shop here on the island which is nice um, you can also get your diving certificate your paddy uh, diving certificate here look and over here we have the water sports equipment look and the dive shop over there okay let's um, go and explore more what the island has to offer look at these people <laughs> whoa sandy beaches all over the place clean and this is one of the mbure over here that has the uh, sea view um, I'm gonna ask the staff if they can give me a tour of one of the mbure um, because I don't want to just go in and risk that that's it occupied so uh, I'll wait maybe I can show you guys later but um, man this place looks absolutely amazing look imagine having the mbure and then you wake up go outside and then bam you see this the ocean sandy beaches and you have the hammock there whoa and when you go further into the island you're gonna come by the uh, swimming pool as you can see here you can see there my cousin brother is giving some instruction out to some of the guests but the swimming pool is there and um when i just arrived to the island uh, one guy approached me and uh and we sh uh, shook hands and uh, he said do you know me and i said i know only know you from your face you must be from Nasisar village he said yes and uh from there we found out that uh, we are distant cousins so <laughs> you know as Fijians you have families everywhere so i got one here at a luxury island resort wow what a place to to work and um over here we have the bar i think let's check it out the outside first you have the table tennis ping pong and yes people between me and my friends i'm undefeated in ping pong They've, i've never lost to them and um we have the pool table here pool table here and um look at these people wow look at this and then you can sit here and um and you can enjoy the weather enjoy the magnificent view of the ocean and mainland and i think the island there is maybe mbau or over there maybe i'm not sure the chief the island of mbau wow you know imagine being on vacation island luxury resort waking up going down to the bar order um strawberry daiquiri i don't know uh but i like strawberry daiquiri <laughs> and then just get it served right here and then you can just sit and sip on that and then look at this whoa bro and then when you're feeling too hot you can go in, into the ocean and cool down and after that you can come up again or another strawberry daiquiri or just some water <laughs> and if you don't want to be under the sun 
and sit there you're gonna be under the roof and sit here look at this architecture wow and you can see it over here and if it's too hot get the fan going and then just enjoying the view wow this is a uh, next level you know uh, I'm a uh, cave doll as they say in Fijian man I'm all I'm all over the place about this place this is absolutely amazing wow so let's check out the actual bar look What you want to You okay with Namburi? How many Namburis are here in uh, on the island? One, two, three, seventeen altogether, oh, including uh, uh, room number fifteen. We got a, a three, uh, like a villa. Oh, um, yeah. oh, mm. oh, seventeen. Wow. I'm gonna get some coffee and taste how the luxury island coffee tastes like. Wow. And this uh, a guy, a uh, sweet guy, Sam, he's from Kamba. This is the area around here, it's called Kamba. And their chief is called, I think, the Wunivalu Natui Kamba. For all the Fijians that are watching, they know <laughs> what Tui Kamba means. And he's like, I think he is the paramount chief of uh, the Kumbuna uh, district or I, I, d I don't really know I think he is one of the main chief um, through the history of Fiji I think he is up there as one of the biggest chief the Wunivalu Nangwanturanga Natui Kamba Naka. Naka. <laughs> luxury cupcakes, luxury coffee, and uh, you have the luxury bar here and the luxury view. Wow, everything luxury. Imagine that when you are in overseas at your office job, you're sick and tired of the hamster wheel and you say I don't want to do this anymore I need to leave I need to go on vacation come to Fiji come to Tomberu Island Resort this is where happiness and peace finds you and now let's taste the luxury coffee I brought coffee. What coffee is this? Long black. Long black. I never tried long black <laughs> before, but uh, it's strong. The smell of it. Let's try long black. Oh, this definitely is strong, but I need that, you know, so I can wake up and my senses can be optimized so I can really take in this beautiful place you know wow it's really amazing someone is gonna serve me some milk one staff thank you wow. and you have the luxury stir everything here is luxury so let's try now with milk with the luxury stir by this anam anamus stuff oh man i can't even pronounce it <laughs> my english 
Mm. Mm. Much more thick. Really good. And um oh that stuff stole one of the cupcakes. Now I have one less, it's okay. Let's try the cupcake. Oh we got a movie stop. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay people, they told me to order my lunch and the entree, the main course and the dessert Man, I don't know what to choose really um, I think I'll take the uh, tumbua, uh, spinach as the entree and then I'll try the uh, chicken burger with crispy fries as the main and then for dessert I'll just try the fresh fruit plate okay. wow this is amazing but let's get back to the uh, the cupcake look Uh, crunchy on the outside and really moist on the inside. Wow. So, yeah, no, we, we're still doing all our beef farming. It's really good. Hits, One of the um, better muffins I've had. You know, and sweet too. Well, it is a, it is a um, luxury muffin, you know, or oh, cupcake. Okay, people. Finishing I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and cupcake, and then I'll the continue the tour. So, people, now I'm finished having my coffee at the bar, and now I will continue onto the dining area. Look! Wow! And now that Valentine's Day is coming up. Your gal will be like, babe, where are we gonna go or do for Valentine's Day? And you'll be like, no worries, girl, I got you. Then you fly her out to this private island luxury resort. And then you take her here to dinner. Bam, you come here, right here, bang, bang, bang. Chair out for her. Tell her, sit your ass down and then you guys just enjoy uh, this scenery, this view, the island and each other for Valentine's Day. Wow! And after that, you guys go back to the Mburi and uh, sleep and enjoy the rest of the um, Valentine's Day. Wow. She will want to have kids with you after that, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue on here. And you can see, maybe this is for a big family. They can eat out here. Look, amazing family dinner. Eh? Wow. And people, while you are having dinner, you can also take a look at the most amazing place in Fiji, besides this island, of course. Look, you can take a look at, at my home island, Muturiki. And right in the back is Ovalau. Wow. And boys if you take your girl here and it just happens that you get into a fight give us a call the Nabuti boys will come pick you up from this island and we can go to Nabuti have a grog session and you can take a break from your girl so now you guys know that this private island Tomburu Island Resort is not far from Moturiki 
So, hook us up. <laughs> and now we are entering the dining area inside. And um, you can see here the architecture. It's really nice, you know. It gives you that real Fijian vibe, you know. I really like it. Look. Wow. And here are the coconuts. And you have the uh, paintings here. I think this one is Moana. Looks like her, exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, let's continue and see what the island, um, what else it has to offer. So this was the dining area. And you can see here, the Mbures with the wall and uh, let's see let's see what else the island has to offer um, what is this Mbula Jack Bure 16 Me Jack Mbula Jack this is Jack Bula Jack, he has his own Bure, Bure 16, and this is Jack. Bula, Bula, Bula Jack. How are you? Are you good? <laughs> Bula. That is Jack. You can find him in Bure 16. <laughs> Look, he's chilling. Okay, let's continue and see what else there is in this island. And over here we have the volleyball court, beach volley. Look, oh lord, if the village boys were here, they will be smashing up this place, you know. And also, when it comes to volleyball, I'm undefeated when it comes to playing with my Danish friends, my uh, Fijian cousins. I can't keep up with them. They are on, on another level. They can do combinations and summon souls and I don't know shit. Like they're crazy good. <laughs> so yeah, um, they are on another level compared to my Danish friends. I'm sorry. To my Danish friends, I know you guys are watching this, but you guys suck at volleyball and uh, sometimes people need to hear the truth. <laughs> Look people, and I love how the island is so clean, you know, it's really nice. And this is the stuck quarters over here. Um, we're gonna leave it that, give them privacy, you know. So people, if you're thinking about coming to this um, island resort, Tomboro Island Resort, and you're thinking about, I wanna bring my kids, uh, how will they fit in? Can they be here? Uh, is there something they can do or play with? And this is one of the things they can do. Look, playground for kids. You know so don't worry you can just come check in drop them off here and they'll be happy and then pick them up when you're gonna leave and check out again <laughs> but yeah and uh, now we've we reached the end of the island where these staff quarters are located at and now we are making our way back and I want to take a look at the swimming pool because when I came um, some of the staff was instructing some of the guests I think about diving or they may be taking their diving certificate so I didn't want to go and you know disturb them so I left them in peace but now let's uh, go back and take a look 
at the um, at the swimming pool. You can see here some of the mbures. Look, wow, that's Wakaya Batiki over there. Batiki mbure. Where's Moturiki? Moturiki must be the most luxurious one. There is here. So we're now at the swimming pool. And here's the shower after you have spent time in the swimming pool you can come here clean yourself and yalla go back and see here Whoa. it's really nice really clean wow and uh, I think I found my favorite place around the swimming pool or at the swimming pool area look 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 Whoa. this is nice holy moly look. we have the pool there and you can lay here and sleep look at the design again people amazing wow okay i'm gonna sit here and uh, relax for a bit and then we can uh, continue the vlog and now beginning to be a bit tired you know and I don't know if it's like this or is it because the island is empty but it's so quiet you know it's really nice like you really feel like you're at a secluded place like you can hear the birds the sound of nature and um yeah just you enjoying the vibe okay people now I'm done with resting now let's check out this shop and see what they have to offer and, um, and you can find the shop next to the swimming pool Look here and here Office hours 7.30 to 6 p.m. Tea break 10 to 10.15. 10 so we're going to let me just we're try in, to well, recall, eh? It's really cool here. The aircon is nice. No, no, uh, they, they're going to show, they're checking out. And, um... Set. Yeah, three days. It's like a... Um, mini supermarket mini kiosk you can get your toiletries snacks chocolates pure fiji and if you want to buy something for your girl right here and uh you can get bleeds here look ice cream too and they also have bola shirts and sulus look it's a pretty nice shop man and dress summer dress for your gal flip-flops that's the shop right next to the swimming pool well, and the most important thing, remember, Milo. Thank you, Tamburu, for thinking about us, crockfuckers, for selling this Milo. Thank you. Let's continue. Bula. Man, they have Wakaya Mbatiki Nairai. 
must they must have motoriki too i have to find it before we get back home gotta represent you know the best i'm in fiji motoriki okay maybe this this mbure here i don't know if it's occupied but let's see hopefully it is the one motoriki now now okay then this must be motoriki Rala. Rala. There's no motoriki Man, motoriki mbure motoriki motoriki mbure motoriki you sara yeah oh okay Muturiki. Okay, they have Muturiki Mburi. Whew. I'm gonna go check it out. They say further down I have to go back. So let's see how Muturiki Mburi looks like. If it doesn't look like Navuti village, I'll be furious. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, we have Mbatiki and we have the, all the Lomabiti groups. Uh, the Mburis are named after them. the Loma Viti group, the islands that, that are located in the Loma Viti province. So let's see here, that's Wakaya, you know, another luxury island in the Loma Viti province. And here we have Mambualau. Okay. What the hell is Motoriki, man? And here... Bula! Motoriki Mbure? Same door Motoriki Mbure? 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 But no Muturiki in Buru. Say, no? Mambu Walau. No. Melak, do you want to buy? Are you okay? Okay, I'm not. You're not, brat. Okay. So one of these staff said for me to go on the other side of the island to check if there is a Muturik Mbure we're on a mission people we won't give up or else we'll just remove one of the names from a random Mbure and plaster a Muturiki name on it let's go <gasps> bro I told you it must be one of the good ones you know Look, Motorikimbure, Slabe, Slabe. I'm proud, Motoriki. Look, <laughs> and you know why they placed it here? Is it occupied? No. Look, 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 look. You can come here with your girl, family, kids and you can stay in the Motoriki Mburi while looking at Motoriki Island right there. Wow, it's so detailed this island, like, I like it. They really thought about it, you know? And you have the, I don't know what you call this in English. Your dambe dambe, your seat, your chair, whatever there, and you can lie down over here. And uh, you have the hammock over there. And here you have Muturik Mburi, and on the other side you have Ovalau Mburi. Wow! You're gonna need to stay in one of them. And you can look directly 
onto Moturiki and Ovalau Island. Look, man, it's the, it's a small thing, but makes you, you know, appreciate the effort, you know, that they put in, you know, the thoughts behind it, man. Tamburua, we have to give it to you. Really good work, man. And look at this, the high tide is coming. And here is your steps down to the sea, down to the beach. And voila, straight into the ocean. You can swim around next to your Motorik and Ovalaumbure while you can view Motorik Island and Ovalau Island. Wow, bro, like <laughs> hands down, this is the best iron resource I've been in, and I've only been here for a couple of hours, and I'm not gonna even stay here for a day I wish, but this is this is amazing, and uh. I will try to ask if I can get a tour of this particular burri. So let's see. So people, I'm here. Um, was waiting for um, the staff to make a burri ready so I, we can go in and check it out. And unfortunately, it was uh, not the Moturikin burri, but they said they will make number six ready and. You know, every mbure here is nice, so I'm looking forward to check no the number six mbure out and show it to you people. And um, while I was waiting, they um, they served me um, two mocktails. Look, one is uh, tomberua, and the other one was. Uh, Tokelulu, Tokelulu, this one. So um, let's taste the Tokelulu first. And remember, this is mocktails, alcohol free. Mm. I like it, it's just like juice, kinda, you know, Coke. Let's try the Tomberua. Let's try this. It has more uh, fruity taste. Um, I would say pineapple-ish taste. Um, but I like the Tokelulu. I think Tokelulu more. Because it's just like drinking Coke. And I love Coke. Especially Pepsi Max. It's my favorite. And people, while you're sipping on your drinks, Look at the view. Wow. And now it's beginning to be high tide. Look. Wow. Bula. Good, how are you? <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy these two drinks. Then I'll. Um, Go to the Mbure afterwards, Mbure 6, and check out how it looks like the rooms here at Tomberua Island Resorts. Now time to enjoy the luxury mocktail, Tokelulu. Mm. And I love this stroke. This stroke! <laughs> I love this straw. Look. Non-plastic. That's how we save the world and save Tomberua Island. Remember, keep the plastic away from the island. Thank you. Not stroke, but straw. Sorry. Okay, people. Now we are ready to check out one of the Mbures and see what it looks like. So let's go. You can see here going up the stairs and it's this mbure is called ngau and 
island here in Lomaiwichi province. I don't know if you can see it there from um, the balcony, but we can take a look when we are there. But here is the umbrella if it's rain and you have a table for two here outside. And uh, this is Mbure number six, um, as you can see here. And let's step inside. Whoa, bro. Look at this. And look at this bed. It says Mbula, welcome to Tombe Rua. And we have the hibiscus here. Wow. What a lovely detail. And also here at the desk. And let's see here the guest information. You can read more about Tombe Rua and what they have to offer at this guest information book. And uh uh, this is uh, maybe a family room because there's two single beds here look one here and one over there and people when you wake up in the morning then you can just go over here and then take a seat and then just enjoy the ocean with the water this sunrise maybe in the morning and again you have the hibiscus there and um let's see what they what else they have to offer um tea kettle wine glass um what's this whiskey glass i don't know looks like it and um small tea kettle there and tea flavors here and again, hibiscus, always happy when you see that. And you have a s small mirror here, oh, it's quite big actually. And then let's go and check out the uh, bathroom. Whoa, bro, <laughs> this bathroom is top notch. <laughs> Look, and you have a big S mirror. And um, what do we have here? Natural Fiji uh, fragrance hand wash. And over here you have the uh, toilet. Wow, looks nice. And um, here you have the shower. Look. And over here you have the sour gel, the shampoo, and the conditioner. All from naturally Fiji and over here you have but I think towels I think this is beach towels and what do we have here sanitary bags pina colada from Pacifics wow and you have hair dryer there you have everything you need and you can step outside here and then let's see what's behind this door okay now we're out to the balcony and here you can sit on this bench and you know enjoy the view while going back and forth wow and what is that? Kamba Island? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe somebody in the comments can answer that. Um, if not, if you don't want to sit down, you can lay down here. Look. Lay down here. And enjoy the view. I think this is my favorite laying down here in front of you sleep and if not they also have the hammock over there this is like a big hammock look whoa holy
holy moly. Okay. It's nice. And uh, let's check out the beach from here. The water. Okay. It's clear. And uh, over here you have the uh, steps. Um, if you want to go down and take a dive into the sea or ocean, you can go down here. Man. Wow, and uh, when I spoke to the GM earlier, she said that um, this resort has been around for 52 years and now on its 53rd year. Wow, you know, I didn't know that, that this resort was that old, but I understand why. Um, it's absolutely amazing, you know. I understand why people want to come here and spend their holidays. Wow. Look. And now let's see what the um, fridge has to offer. Uh, what it comes with when you book the room. Let's check it out. Okay, you have... Oh, empty water bottles and a can. Do we call it a can? I'm not sure. Okay. But yes, there is a fridge, which is good. And uh, you have the hangers to hang your clothes on. And then there's a safe to to store your um, belongings that you don't want to lose in there you know for us the drinks grog it may be the yn cover you know because it's good quality i don't want anyone to steal it you know <laughs> but yes people i think that's it for this burri for one of the burri they off I mean, hands down, this is the best resort I've been in so far in my entire life. Holy moly. Like, when I saw the pictures, I was already amazed when I saw it yesterday when I looked it up. But when, as I'm standing here and just seeing this with my own two eyes, is undescribable man it's absolutely amazing whoa I don't feel like uh, I feel like I don't want to leave this place you know but uh, I have to go back in the afternoon though <laughs> so some people may be wondering how's the connectivity out here and I've tried um, to play with my phone um, in different spots around the island and um, it works the connectivity is good um, if you wanna watch your series or uh, maybe watch Hura Tambua while you're on holiday at Tamburua don't worry the connectivity is good um, if you have DTCL like I do I don't know about Vodafone but if you have DDSL, you should be good to go and stay connected to the outside world. Okay, people, that's it for the Mbure. Um, a look into the Mbure, which is absolutely amazing, in my opinion. The only thing that I'm waiting for now is lunch. Um, hopefully, um, their food is good too. Let's see. Um, I think it's good. So let's go back to the bar where I came from.
and people I forget to show you one thing when I came down from the Mbure is this look wow and um, that is to clean your feet when it's full with sand you know um, what a, a nice design you know <laughs> it's a real real nice look didn't try yep my food are clean Lunch time! Mbula <laughs> <laughs> people, so now we are back. Time for lunch. Look. And I'm looking forward to taste the burger. The main dish. I can't even remember what I ordered for the appetizer, but I'm sure it's good. So. I'm patiently awaiting. Okay, people. So, they just came with some bread. And um, over here we have the butter. I don't know if it's rare butter. But maybe Lua Park from Denmark? I don't know. But look, enjoying the lunch, and in the background, you can hear music. Wow, live music. Look, over in the far distance. I feel like I could sit here forever. Okay, let's taste the bread. Cameraman, can you please? Thank you. Always start from the outside in. I've learned from Denmark, my time in Denmark. Oh, and the butter is smooth. And the bread is soft. Mm. Mm. Good. It's really good this bird. Soft, moist, not dry. <laughs> and I just confirmed from one of my sources on this island that this is homemade bread. Wow. You're sitting here, luxury resort, luxury view, and eating luxury bread. Bula. the wings from the bar. Mocktails. Soft drinks. I would like the tokalau. Tokalau. Tokalulu. Tokalulu. <laughs> tokalulu. Oh lord. <laughs> tokalulu. Naka. Naka brother. Tokalulu, man. That was really good. And with this bread. Oh. Naka. I got my entree here. This is what the sir. This is uh, I can't remember the name of it. What's the name of the entree? The ro ro something. Ro -ro. <laughs> 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 well, uh, tum tumbu something. Eh? Yeah, tumbu what? Tumbu. Tumbu. Ro ro. Ro la. Ro la. Okay. This is the tumbu tumbu ro la. Tumbu ro la. Look. Tokalau. Tokalau. Tokalulu. And tumbua rolad. And now we're gonna taste the tumbua rolad. Tumbua? Yeah, it's definitely raw. It's good. The one rule I have with the um, Roro is as long as it's not Mila, then uh, I can eat it. But if it's just gonna feel a bit Mila, then it's Halas. <laughs> but this one is definitely not Mila, and by Mila, like if you can feel like it's scratching your throat, then um, 
it's halas for me but this one is really good wow and um we have some kind of fish i think it's tuna maybe definitely taste the tuna mm. this is really really good wow and with the view you know Mm. Oh. And with the, not Tokalau, but Tokalulu, or like Hunelulu. Okay. Bro. Oh, okay. I swear this is my favorite resort. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. So, um, I will enjoy <laughs> this entree. And then um, we'll go to the main, Minaka. I just want to give a shout out to the chef. Like this is only the entree, but bro, <laughs> this is so good. Like, and um, you know, I've lived in Denmark mostly all my life, and they are very known for their cuisine. So I've tasted a lot of different types of food, but I've heard this chef is local, and what. He cooked here today really amazed you would think that this is like a michelin star restaurant well thank you mm. okay people that was the tokalulu now is lemon squash not bad tastes like swepers it's really good. Wow. So, people, this is the main. Looks really, really good. Look. And, uh, but tasty fries. <laughs> mm. It's good. And, um, one thing the fries has to be is crunchy, you know, when you bite it. And this one is crunchy. Luxury fries <laughs> with the luxury ketchup here. That's what we need. Mm. The fries are really good. And now, time for the uh, burger. Uh, cameraman, can you? So some people uh, were calling me out for using fork and knife for eating the burger last review so now we will now we'll try to use my hands what we have here egg also okay let's go and Ben's going to eat his fruit with me oh, okay. just get him a I'm mm. sure he's got a plate in here yeah. and uh, I think he's got uh, oh. his bad celiac he's starting to get on top of it he's learning how to live with it now he is he's saying he can't even go into it, something like off red shop. Mm. Just the smell of it. Mm. Yeah. To set him off. Yeah. The burger is no. good with egg. Is it good? Yeah. It was really good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a, 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 a very you know, I don't think that's a McDonald's burger. No, <laughs> no. A much better burger this one. I think I tried to tried that one. <laughs> It was a day when you could enjoy a burger, but <laughs> can't have the flour anymore. The bun is really good, it's not dry, and um, the chicken is moist too, and you have the crunchiness um, on the outside and softness um, on the inside. And um, I approve this burger. Thank you, Tamburua, for serving this magnificent burger, luxury burger as they call it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell the chef, they'll be very impressed. <laughs> you can watch it all on YouTube. <laughs> well, I'm pretty impressed with it. Now I wish I had it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you order? I don't know. I can never remember, but I didn't order the burger. <laughs> it looks good. I must have ordered the fish. Is that the fish? Yeah. No. I'm having fish. That's the fish. Oh, well, I'm having that, I think. Yeah, it is. So, people, I'm going to try fish kofta. 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 Mm -hmm. Like a 
Това е смисъл и на Денис Фиска Фрегдела. Това е бъде. Това е Фискофта. Let me try one more. <laughs> just in case. It's... Just in case. Just to make sure it uh, still tastes the same. Good. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Tasty? Tasty. Good. I don't think nice I have flavors. any left for me. Oh, I'll stop myself now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Fish kofta, good too. Burger, good. Everything here is good. <laughs> so people, now it's time for dessert. Banana cake with what, vanilla ice cream. Let's taste it. No, it's fine, it's fine. I think I can do it. Okay. I want to have a good day. Yes. But I need to Whoa. Very tasty, my mm. one. Mm. Very, very tasty. Lovely. <laughs> Gouda. Gouda. Wow. That's it. So you can't. The banana has that softness to it, and then the dough is like. Has mm. that crunchiness to it. Mm. Cake underneath, whatever it is. Yeah, it's, it's really good. And with the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Wow. Mm. And now I will finish up with something healthy. When you eat dessert, remember to always finish up with something healthy, you know, to make you feel good. Mm. It's a lovely pineapple. Mm -mm. I can tell you. <laughs> I think that's why we're throwing like bananas well, in the pineapple the last. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It makes us feel better. Mm. Let's try the melons, watermelons. Sweet. Wow. Okay, people, I'm just gonna enjoy the dessert, the fruit platter. And then hopefully maybe we can go and take a visit at the dive shop. Or lie in the hammock to let you digest today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Okay people. So um I didn't show you this. They also have a spa look in there where you can go in and have Spa, take care of your body so you can stay healthy and you can live longer and um, make sure you get all this soft tissue out I think I'm just talking shit but uh, it makes you um, healthier in the long run so do more spa and this is the dive shop look And here you have the equipments. Just a quick, quick tour. And that's it, people. That's Tomberu Island Resort. I hope you liked it. If you want to come here, book, man. Have this little private island to yourself or to your families and kids. Until next time. <laughs> Korea. Time to say goodbye.